it going ladies of Bruce and Bobby Six Killer, welcome back to Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. We are heading home to deliver the honey that we went out for in the first place. We finally did it, we completed our mission. I guess the game's over. Yeah, right. Hiya boys. I hope everything went well. We thought we'd enjoy the day a little more. Isn't it nice out? Well, here we go. Oh. It would get overcast. Another afternoon of board games, I guess. Oh crap, aliens! Fascinating! Accelerating Godfrey waves to the point of quantum flux might produce a similar effect. I mean, what did you do to my wife? <laughs> we better get out of here. Uh, what's the point? Not like I can outrun a laser. Why, Lars, you lazy bastard? If this ends with me having to go on another dumb adventure with you, I'm gonna wreck your face the first chance I get. Oh, guess we're not with you either. Oh, maybe we are. Bye! What is with this world that we live in? It's nuts. My... It's, it's be... Ever since... Eh, you... Wake up. Oh, you're up, dear. Let's get a look at you. No, no, this won't do at all. I'm afraid your skin has adopted a squiddy tone. You've got vile bags under your eyes. Your bones are apparent and... Yes, I'm afraid that your gumption levels are dangerously low. Has your mother been feeding you properly? Oh, but you have grown like a bean sprout. I'll tell you what, a nice young man wearing sunglasses gave me a tin of candied almonds. I'll make sure to liquefy some and inject them into your sustenance gel for extra nutrients. Doesn't that sound yummy? Just wait right here and I'll get started on that. Let me know if you need anything, dear. What? Can I go? You want to chat, Jimmy? That's so sweet. Once I finish my preparations, we'll be able to chat for a long, long time. So let me get back to work real quick. I'm looking forward to spending time with you, sweetheart. Ah, let me go. What if I turn into something? Can I do that? Um... Okay, I can't do that. Alright. Yo! Eyeball guy. You want to chat, Jimmy? That's so sweet. Oh. What do I do? I need to turn into a slime and go down the plug hole. Are you allowed to turn, turn into stuff here? And if you are, how do you do it? I remember! I'm so dumb sometimes. Down the plug hole. Yes! I'm so dumb sometimes. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's so long between the recording this game. Oh, no. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Jimmy, if I didn't know any better, I think you were a naughty boy. Do you not want to visit me, dear? I know little boys want to run around and scuff up their knees. They don't have time for little old ladies. But that's, that's just not fair, I'm afraid. You're already here, so you're going to let me spoil you. Yes, that's the best option. The door is locked anyway, so you won't be going anywhere. We'll just have to drain the pot and start again. And really, Jimmy, after I went through all the trouble of liquefying those delectable treats for you, you're lucky you got such a cute little nose. I'd kiss it right now if I could. I don't even have a nose right now. I'm a puddle of goo with no nose. Door! Oh. oh, hey! Damn! It's just you! Buck, what are you doing here? How did you get out of your containment pod? 
I broke it because I'm not an idiot. It's not like it was hard. Jimmy managed to get out. There's that lip again. This won't do at all. Why can't you be a sweet boy like your uncle Lars? Shut up. Nobody likes visiting you. It smells weird and it's boring. I don't appreciate that, Buck. Not one bit. You two boys need to stay put until the security drones escort you back to your containment pods. I'm gonna find Mum and get out of here. Maybe Dad and Uncle Lars if I run into them. I guess you can follow me. I'm still gonna wreck your face when we get home. Sounds fair. Well, well. Disobedience, I would expect this from you, Buck. But Jimmy, I just don't know what to think now. I suppose we'll have to activate level 3 lockdown, so you won't be prying any more doors open, Buck. Uh-oh. <laughs> if you happen to run into a security droid, do not resist. They're allowed to use lethal force. And they are quite lethal. You're a grandmother? But you're a robot? And you like... or something. And you want to use lethal force on us, you psycho? God almighty! This place is crazy! I want out of here. Can we smash these? Look at these pods! Fresh! Do, 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 do. Mobile alarm! Uh, actually, I want to change. Can we change? Imagine Goon! Raw damage, but I don't want to waste all our MP just yet. Nice. Wrecking him. Get wrecked. So we usually get ourselves wrecked. That wasn't bad. Okay. Alright, we gotta get out of here. God, I love this game. It's so crazy. It is insane. And I love it. You know how I love insane stuff. It's what we usually play. Oh my god. What the shit just happened? That's what happens if you let them carry on? They turn into that? No, thank you. I don't, I don't like that. Whoa, 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 okay, it's really strong. Holy shit, it just insta-killed us. Plus one to all stats. I guess I'll use it. I can really do with some healing though. Oh, it's a dead end. Now what do we do? Alright, well I've got... <clears throat> I've been running around and I can't figure out what to do. I feel like it's got something to do with those screens though. We need to talk to that lady. Shit. We can get away. Let's get out of here. Let's be doing something to do with those screens. Fighting most of these things is just too dangerous to even be worth the effort. So we're gonna go talk to the screen and see what that can do. We can video call people. Video call Helga. Oh Jimmy, Buck, thank goodness. I got to talk to my mum again, but I'm also locked in this weird space prison, so I guess today's been kind of a mixed bag. When you get a chance, can you get me out of here? I've never seen the inside of a UFO before. Nice. Andrew? Hello, Jimmy. I see you and Buck have escaped. Excellent. What's that? The bees? This isn't good at all. Remember what I told you about bees? Bees disappearing from the ecosystem are an early warning sign that the ecosystem will fail. What could be the cause? Pesticides? I need to think things over. We'll discuss this later. Buzz? 
you, buddy. So I guess mom's here, so that's pretty cool. She told me she was gonna bring me some candy diamonds, but I don't know how she's gonna do that since she's like a computer now. Isn't technology cool? I guess I'll probably move back with her. I, um, I'm really gonna miss you, Jimbo. Maybe mom can just live with us inside my computer. That'd be pretty sweet. Security clearance. Jimmy, do we have to go over this again? You need to return to your containment pod and await further instructions. Ah. What to do then? If I defeat one of those scary ass robots, can I become one? I'm sorry, I guess I'm not programmed to listen to naughty children. What if I changed... Shit. Let's just guard both. Uh, we're gonna end up with two. It's not gonna be worth it. It's too dangerous. What if I change it to somebody else? Will that work? Oh! Talking to me again, I thought you were a naughty boy. Shouldn't be off harassing soda jerks or shoplifting bubblegum. <laughs> Rude, man. Your colour is a bit off. Could you just straighten it a bit? Ahem. You look handsome. Well, if you're always going to be around like this, I guess we should chat. It would be a waste if we didn't, right? Oh, I haven't talked to you since, well, I suppose I wasn't much for conversation then. Let's not bring that up. The important thing is that you're here now. Once we get you back into your containment pod, we can spend more time together. Is that what you want? That's asking too much, isn't it? I'm sorry, dear. What if I'm a flower? Now will you help me? You can only access each terminal once, okay. Jimmy, why do you keep visiting me? You know that my prime directive is to detain and subdue you, right? Oh dear, I've said too much. We probably shouldn't talk anymore. It's just the prime directive at all. I shouldn't reprogram myself. That would be crazy. Ha ha ha. Oh dear. Yes, I've accessed every terminal. Damn it! Oh, we did. Well, that was bad. We're pretty much all dead now. I have access to every terminal, goddammit. Help me out here, lady. Fuck! Security clearance? Well, I can't break protocol like that, but there aren't many terminals in this sector. Maybe opening one door won't be so bad. Achoo! Oh, would you look at that? I must have hit a button when I sneezed. Now I've lost... I've lost Buck. I'm pretty much dead. Can I shake the soda machine? I can't shake the soda machine, can I? Oh yeah, I can. 50 bucks! Hey, you look a lot like Jimmy. Good thing you can't be him, because he's locked up. I bet he didn't expect us to have a spaceship. I don't know why the boss cares so much about this Jimmy kid. When I asked about him, I would ask him about it, but Dee Dee tells me I'm not paid to think. So I don't think at all. I just get angry and punch stuff. Hey! When you do that, all I can think about is how angry I am. Shoot! I'm not supposed to think. I'm so confused. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to shake you crazy. I wish we had somewhere to bring Buck back. I miss having Buck. Now I can bring people back, right?
Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh no, I'm on cooldown now. That was scary. What's up this way? Again. Oh, but I, well, I did have an idea. How about we just pretend that you didn't escape? If I think that, then I wouldn't be violating my Prime Directive at all now, would I? Yes, there we go. Thanks so much for staying here with me, Jimmy. I knew you would never try to escape. Never. You know it. Oh, this is too much for an old lady like me. You've got such a good imagination, Jimmy. I just have to face facts. I don't mind if you've escaped, but just make sure you check in with me now and again. Okay. You're pretty much just avoiding every fight. Because they're just not worth, not worth dealing with. Can you waste this guy? I want to see what happens when it goes down. Knock him down. Damn it! Let's go. Not worth dealing with. Suicide. Oh, Jimmy, I'm so glad you came to visit me again. I feel like I've just been in one of those moods. So I hope I wasn't keeping you at arm's length. I've been thinking. Well, scanning memory sectors, if we're being accurate. The last time you visited me at the house must have been, yes, it was Hans's birthday. His last one before he got ill. He was sitting in his chair and you were on his lap. No, that's not it. You must have been playing with Lars in his room. Such a shy boy. And then little Helga put on a show in the living room. My little singer. She must have gotten into my makeup because eyeshadow was everywhere and her lips, her lips, probably climbed in onto the bathroom sink. Bless her heart. Are you done? I'm gonna go now. But if you were there, maybe... Oh, there I go again. Things get foggy sometimes, you know. I'm looking forward to seeing you again, Lars. I'm not Lars, dipshit. Can I go through this? Oh, I thought I'd be able to squeeze in the hole. I need to be the goon, though, for healing and getting away purposes. Right now, anyway. Stupid flower. Stupid ass flower. Give me some enemies I can deal with, not ones that are terrifying. Alright, let's go through this door then. Oh, we can't. That means everything's locked again. Shit. I feel like I'm getting stuck every two seconds in this game. Am I meant to feel like I'm getting stuck all the time? Hang on, what if I shake this plant? Can't shake the plant, huh? These things happen, I guess. I thought I'd be able to squeeze my slime body up there. But no. What to do next then? That's the question. Doesn't appear to be anything I can actually access anymore. You're a natural kid, but goon trials were yesterday. I'm glad you think I'm a natural though, that was, that's nice of you. God damn it. Waste him! I don't know why I bother. It'll never work. Escape! What to do now? Video call? Hey buddy, so I guess mom's here, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. We already had this one. That hasn't changed at all. Can I request security clearance again, maybe?
Well, you have been a good boy lately. I can give you level 1 clearance. Feel free to go into any level 1 door. Yes! That'll probably help a lot, actually. I don't want to fight you. If you're- if I've been a good boy, maybe you can call off your killer drone things. Maybe. You know, just maybe. Scanning. Species, human, type, goon, low level, insufficient credentials, only people with level 3 access are allowed entry. Okay. I'm just gonna keep running away from enemies every time I encounter one. Or face the consequences of death. The icy sting of death upon us. Oh hey, it's you. I guess you really pulled a fast one on me. You didn't want to be a low level goon at all. What a jerk. Well, I guess I don't hold, totally hold it against you. The other guys pushed me around and called me names like stupid and butt face. Let me tell you, it doesn't feel good. Well, I chose this life and I don't have any regrets. I just wish they'd let me in their cool secret meetings. Stop! Stop! Why does everyone do this to me? Because you're a goon. This is what we do. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can't run? Oh, I guess we did. Shit. Super Death Bot 5000, he's gonna murder us. And we can't run, so that means we fucked it up. Man, dying in this game is just something you gotta get used to, eh? It's part of the old process. Oh my god, we're back here? What a pain in the ass. Wait, where are we? Oh yeah, I know. Back to dying again. You know, the huge. Don't walk through the lasers now, we know. I mean, obviously that makes sense, but... You gotta try it out and see what happens, right? Otherwise... You might have been able to progress and not even know it. Who knows, right? That's how I'm justifying that stupid death, anyway. What about this way? Ooh, robot. He looks cool. Oh no, we have to fight him? Waste him. Okay, he's pretty strong too. Super Death Bot 4000 instead of 5000. Let's keep him slowed. Yeah, he's nowhere near as dangerous as the other Death Bots. He's still dangerous though, just not as dangerous. Hit him again. Good damage. 152. Keep bullying him. Maybe you can recruit him to fight the Super Death Bot 5000s. Maybe. He's strong though. Like he's not like crazy insanely strong like the other ones but he's still strong all right we're gonna go in a rage now go nuts buck buck's about to lose the plot god damn buck you're crazy we should use that more often he can't do anything else, but he does so much damage. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Now's not a good time, dear. I was just thinking of when Hans passed. I wanted to hold on a bit longer, but I just... I just... Alright, what do we got? What are those? Whatever they are, I don't want to deal with them. They probably involve insta-death. 
Oh, you can see through it. Okay. What the fuck was that? That was in the game? I thought that was in real life. Hello, Jimmy. Ruff. A surprise attack? What a punch to knock a thing to do. Quiet, underling. Ruff. You've already failed to subdue a child. Your role is to sit and play dead until your next command. Listen, Jimmy. It doesn't matter that you escaped your pod. I was gonna suspend you in jail and devour you in the future. But now I'm gonna have to accelerate that plan. Uff. It's over, Jimmy. I've captured your family. I'm stronger than you. Faster than you. Hungrier than you. I'm gonna sink my teeth into your brain and then I'm gonna gobble it up. Uff. Whoa. Creepy. Oh dear, this won't do at all. I'm afraid I can't let you harm a hair on his precious little head. Remember your dir prime directive. My prime directive? Let me run a diagnostic. Beep boop boop beep. One problem's found. Prime directive is stupid. Erasing now. New prime directive. Help grandson escape. Machine! You become corrupt and unnecessary. I'll erase you along with the rest of this world. Listen up, Jimmy. I've already released the containment pods. Your father, mother, and uncle are all safe, but since we're in flight, I couldn't specify their drop points. Find them. It's important for a young boy to be with his family, and after that, find me, okay? Stupid dog. What do you want me to say? You're sick? You're tired? Me too. Deal with it. Get up! About time. We're in some new stupid place. Grandma was right. We've got to find everyone and get back home. Now where the hell are we? Toot soldier. Everyone rejoice! The queen has returned! Chancellor Harpley will hold a coronation soon to make it official. Now please stand for the first new royal composition. Please stop. Well, I'm glad we're finally out of that spaceship and we've got to wrap this episode up here. Good timing, actually, to land in a new place. We'll explore this place in the next episode and see what's going on. Hopefully find some of our family. Tell that I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking out for me and I'll see you in the next one.